Uganda is a non-government organization which is children and young people centered, promoting girls' education through skills development, advocating and mobilizing for increased opportunities and creating platforms for their empowerment. It was birthed as a result of the realization that girls were not active participants in the process of their education. GEM has been operational in Uganda in schools and districts since 2002. Over the years, uh, working with the children and the young people in solving the issues that the children face in the education, we have found out that one of the major causes of uh, dropout of girls from school, both primary and secondary, is uh, teenage pregnancies. Uganda Demographic Household Survey in 2016 outlined 24% of teenagers reported to have started childbearing. Teenage pregnancy is 25% and it is one of the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. Of the 28 of girls who were sexually active while at school, 80.1% got pregnant. Of this, 97% dropped out of school due to pregnancies. The colleagues who work in GEM Uganda came up with that idea of girls' education movement right from high school, which grew into a very strong organization later on, founded by UNICEF, and it handled a project of towards a thousand girls who had dropped out of school because of pregnancy. So in the process of resettling them, I was brought on board as a volunteer. So of course when I was posted here, I had already interacted with very many young girls, very many teenage mothers, okay. resettling them into school, yes. supporting them to get to better levels. Yes. So this was just like a drop in an ocean. So my, my first pregnant girls were two. One is a born of this area, another one was coming from Gomba. I had a friend, he used to come to buy and he goes, then there is a time he came, gave me a bottle of water. Neighbor, mm. one of our neighbor. Mm. Gababeda, one of our neighbor. Gababeda, one after taking that water, I fle I felt dizzy. Mm -hmm. The when I came back on normal, mm -hmm. it's the one I first saw. Yet it's the one I last saw when I've not yet come in that condition. Then I asked him that who has brought me here? Why mm -hmm. am I why am I not feeling very well? Mm -hmm. Told me that I'm sorry, but I I want to tell you that I, that I I love you. I fear to tell you that whatever things happens, I'm sorry. Started saying those words. Nangamba mama, nade sovole ira ku kwa galo yomole nzina ye nange yankaka sa manya kati nange sa chimanya oba yaniba oba te yaniba. At first, yeah, the mind which first came into me yeah. to to abort. Then I had a friend. Who aborted? Mm. And things went berserk. Then I said that I'm not going to to abort. Mm. Whatever thing happens, I'm going to deal with it. Karitata we na yagala nyo, oku tabuka ne muga anti na ye. Ogendo tabuka, bo umwa na agenda funa buya ambichi. I started thinking of what. What am I going to do? Where am I going to stay if my dad knows that? 
what is he going to do to me? Following the COVID-19 pandemic that led to a total closure of schools, teenage pregnancy rates more than doubled. Within 11 months, more than 100,000 teenage pregnancies had been reported. This was a wake-up call that out of this number, there were candidates, primary seven, senior four, and senior six, who contribute to national education achievements like national literacy levels and gender parity in education. This meant a retrogression in these achievements. Kati obuzi we wajiro wa COVID, ni waba sindi kani wako mawe wakabana. Ni wako mawe wakira nga wumanyo maitosoba ya kumoku umagenda kuruzo gende na ye genda kumaduko ndete deti no. Na lindi ya ondoza mbanga li amiezi nge satu. Ni mpuli ya kama ulili. Kubanze na listi manyoli na jana ngambo uli wanontie. Bangambi mwalao alabi kainachi. Ngurubuto ni mbabu uza mwalaani. Ngando oleza kubali ya bakuru ni wangamba anti mastura. Kati wali rumunga kodja wa jabi ngambo mulenza amotumye. Kyo mulenza ngambie buwati ne buwati. Yazo musange uo. Omulenzo ya alabi kalimu ya kanga. Habili mumu kaa gabili mumu samba uotu. Gatube ila wakale nienta bukamu. Nja gala nkwa ato umano uyo mulenzi. Mulenzi buwe ya chimanya na akolachi. Naduka. So my duty was first of all to protect this young girl by mm. by reducing on the stigma. stigma. Mm. Of course, at start it was abnormal. At they the they start, have never yeah. thought of it. Oh. They were challenged about the myth. When you leave her in school, she's going to cause others to get pregnant. Yes. When you leave her in school, mm. the school is going to lose numbers yes. because parents will not accept that. Mm. Most schools don't allow it, so mm. it was it was choking. Yeah, when Hajat allowed them. But when I saw the support she gave them, so I had to, to just change my, my, what, my attitude. Actually, for me, I could not do it. If it was me, I don't think I would. Mm. Mm. My first step was I'll do it because even the ministry accepts it. So the next step after ensuring the parents I will continue with the young girl, I had to involve the students. What I realized in schools is that this whole thing starts with the peers. Even before we know as administrators, even before we get to know as parents, colleagues already know what is happening. The girls who came in with pregnancies, mm. some of them, they were not like of their wish mm. to have the, those pregnancies. Some of them, they were raped. They were raped. And others wanted to get the kids and give them money that they would and expect them and they would expect them to uh, and of course, after getting the students on board, it became easy. Okay. Now we had to deal with a young girl herself when the pregnancy was growing bigger and, and bigger. bigger. So she would say, I would come over preps and my friends help me discuss, blah, blah, blah. So we went through that.
akoleji atukaza alo mwana we mwonje mm. she sat for senior four passed so well came back up to senior six actually by then i was in senior three it was in november third time when we were about to get our holidays yeah we went out and we got drunk so after getting drunk i never knew what happened so after some time i realized i was pregnant but still i i continued with with the studies until senior four in second term so when they realized that i was pregnant they were like what are you going to do now? You're going to be at home. You won't be. To, you won't be able to do your exams. So they took me back to the village in Mujiri. Everyone was saying, "Look at her. She's now wasted. She won't be able to do anything. What and what?" But my mom kept on supporting me. So after giving birth, my mom was like, "Do you want to continue with school?" And then I was like, "I want to go back." So she had to take me to a friend of hers in Masaka. She told her the whole story. Then after the whole story, Hajat was like, it's okay, she can come back and study. So I was in the middle of the year, and I was in the middle of the year. I was in the middle of the year, and I was in the middle of the year. Basa bolo tango ba waka nensi gara o ne banya mbako kwenye nchi kwa sagania tuwe na ma o kuzara nensi gara ne kule bugezo ne marizi aje tisinga tayari tafande na lini sasa wanza umana na yeye kubeba kwa mawa o aje tina kwa kisha mani na nanga mati mama fati mti kwa nje sabo gumi kiti zee guma kuba na ngadi nje gara nyo fati idanga no kusoma. What is your name? Nabunya Saidat. Nabunya Saidat, okay. Nabunya, glad to meet you. Uh, which class are you? Form 4. Form 4, okay. How old are you? 18 years. 18 years, alright. Uh, have you been in, uh, you've said you're in Form 4. Have you been in Form 4? Have you been in Form 4? Have you been in Form 4? Have you been in Nisonga chijo ba wakubwa tewe kuna baadhi ya kama gugu na walufu na no no shuma na umalako chigula fitu kama mbufu. First of all, to see changu dukuza. Hmm. Yeah. Very very expensive. Hmm. Yes. Bano, waba bila rating waba jeru sana ida, na ba ine mbuto. Nzengenda pa mula bila koko ba ngenda pe la unga mula ba. Olia mge yo, olia mge ya. The white water, abeya te ye uli da. So ngenda kuye gata si ngenda ngenda nange collection kuna lugo to so ba ba kiri zeba jena uba so. Nda ba ali muso me mungole ali musisti. Aba na ba njia ba mungu. Si ngole ya bere kwe. Knowledge. Abi ni muso me musisti me na ni kwa unga muso muso me. Ya si ngo kwe na kwa tiba tiji. Being in school and you're being supported by someone always keeps you going. Mm. It can't even, because I don't think one of those members could think of dropping out of school after the all the support they are putting yeah, from coach. you. There are a number of factors causing these teenagers to get pregnant. These are mainly rooted in the self, socialization or culture, economic situations. The actions leading to the pregnancies are both voluntary and involuntary, but over 60% of these pregnancies are an unintended consequence. A very important question to ask, who is impregnating our teenagers without caring about the after effects and most importantly, their education? Are they in this school, honestly, or community? This school is, uh, is towards 700 students okay. and we have more girls. Okay. But you'll note that none of those pregnancies comes from the teachers or from the students from here, mm. but it comes from the community. Okay. And by the government has to do a very big part on that side okay. of the community. Okay. The community can even be worse than the students who are even young. Oh. Because in, in our culture, it's like it's a taboo. You're supposed to be locked somewhere and maybe you die off or they bury you off.
There are a number of challenges associated with managing teenage pregnancies. Highly prone to child marriage, gender-based violence, and domestic abuse due to limited autonomy and significant power differentials. Suicide. Teenage pregnancies are associated with shame, stigma, and mental health issues that sometimes can lead to suicidal tendencies. Very high risk of sexually transmitted infections or STIs, including HIV, as they are often unable to effectively negotiate safer sex. Pregnant teenagers are most likely to experience serious complications while giving birth obsteric fistula. The risk of maternal death are about 28% higher, that is, twice as likely to die during pregnancy of birth. If she is under 15 years, the risk is five times higher. Teenage births are associated with high levels of child morbidity and mortality. For example, the neonatal mortality rate of adolescent born babies is 34 of 1,000 live births compared to 25 of 1,000 live births among women in their 20s. Physiological stress from the pregnancy itself and fear of reactions and abandonment from the partner parents, peers, school, health workers, and the community. Abortion and future fertility complications due to dangerous and unsafe methods of abortions. School dropouts and poor or delayed educational achievements. Poverty. Many young girls are trapped in a cycle of poverty because of limited opportunities for employment and income. Uh, the biggest challenge has come this year when the very one we owned as a school, we are all involved, the matron, the nurse, the cooks, almost all the ladies on session, we are, we are, we are, we are part of that struggle. Supporting the girl, and we lost the baby, the baby mm. but the girl is in good health. Mm. Wai kumacha na kila kumacha wakuto umana kala ingai chuo sanya ngamu yanti mla mazania kati netu gene netu vamudom netu gendo kusoma kwa tu mukusoma art nuta niko kuluma ingamba ba chini chini cha budi chete lo kujia katika nima guoku sasa ninga chia bika waliwe chiti gena maso kwa kugera kwenye metro ni metro ni na kugera kwenye HMO afi ni banga ba ni tegi kete kolegi Kukenye Nevangamba, ba mazo mute kama skani, umana mazo fira mo. Beyond pregnancy, these girls still have purpose for their lives and career dreams. And since school has positioned itself or has been marketed as a place that prepares one to work on their dreams, then ensuring that these girls continue their education is appropriate. <laughs> Nye haja tibweja, na atula gano, tufu na chifana nyinti omwano omuwala, asobo ulira dala okuba nicho omu gaso omu maso omu okugase guanga. Tagamba, abana abawala, babalike, ni wabafunyo olubuto. Olubuto luno, olita ya gala wagazi niti alufune. Bubabu tondi munda, omwana na atu uka nti asobo ulokola, eki ntu ito kubani chabu tondi, tagende ili nanti afuno olubuto. Katika kuvuga mani wamu jeyo, wamu mm. fili zanyo. Mm. Sunu bambi ulusa, haba chaya galo kusoma, 
really accident. For every problem or challenge, surely there is a solution. Learning from Chisana Secondary School, working with all key stakeholders, especially the head teachers, board of schools, founding bodies, children and parents we can support these girls continue their education bazadde banaffe nga kisana secondary school bwe yewa yo kubera na abana baffe abali ne mbuto zengo omusawo nina obuvuna nzibwa buli rwenda bango omwana aino lubuto ajajendi Iranga ni no kumufa ko. Irana ange ni mba saba. Abana abembu tabu tubakuwa tebulu njinga bazade. Tusobole okufuna Uganda enunji. During COVID-19, hmm. government yes, wenda no kumufa. Teyafayu. Kubanga fetuwa meranga kutibi. Ngatula wabula wango wa coronavirus. Hmm. Wewasi na kumufa. <laughs> Seminars are many government Bagenda Puli, Abasira, Montova, executive wedgety. The Nedos and government rules a singer. Kaiwa at the next side, you omzat the year by you. Then the government in Gay, a negative relaxing them, yet I am be a mana, Wabuala and Gay. To the girls, the sexual part of their life is something very big that cannot be played around. Not by elders, not by young people, not by ministers, not by presidents. They should hear it from all avenues, mm. from their parents, from their community, from their leaders, from NGOs, from... You know when you give the same message in all angles, it will make sense. Wata naba kutuka miaka jange, bakubi izo kwe kuma, wanga uchinchi wako na uvudevu wacho. Nabo, abadi miaka jange, abaziri na mbuto. Siba kubi iza kuzijamu, kuwango kujamu uvuto, chiba chibi, chinzo kubira mwokufa. Wabula bagume, kubanga siwa beda basose, kubeda mwe mbeda. Bandi badenga beso nyuwa. Mbedeyo. Mm. Na amaliri ze miso moje, kubebyo tebikoma. Mm. Na amalo kumaliri ze miso moje, mm. ngeira apuze. Mm. Na atukanti yesalira wafu nyochi. Era nze message jenyizo kuweleza ngaba vubuko wabana abawala. Bandi badde bageza ako kweku manoku uliriza bazadde babu chibaba baba gambi. Na abana abalinzi. Bafuwe nyoku laba antive kuma obutada kono na wana wabana abu kusawa ya lero mbona abona. Sina kubu yambiru wa mwana mwrenzi. Abazadde abasinga. Batu wala abalinzi inga. Inga oba abata abundiridua. Badia uboba, bali no kugena maso nebefuga. For example, olaba mumamu family zezi singa. Abola baba gana amasimu. Abali zine basi gala nachi. Nago. Abali zi kionga fe. Mm. Echa masima. Tula kinga mu okumu uliwa. Mm. Mamasomelo. Mm. Shino jiza ina kubavu nenji. Wabuna ito koze shimara. Kwe mpawari inga wako mpulo inga. Bitongo libimara. Bikomeo mwa mwa hizi avalienzi kusinga. Na uwe mwuri hili nchi. Like in Germany, Uganda, where we say we work with the girls and the boys are allies, the whole problem comes from the side of the boys and the men. So what I've tried to do in school, I've told them to be very empathetic, to always wear those shoes. We, we accept the fact that they are growing. The hormones are really disturbing. No mm. one will, will, will urge you about that because mm. we have teenagers. Mm. It is the time. But when it's really attacking, you want to say something to this young girl, just pull back and look at her like your young sister. The same thing goes to the men. Just say, if this was my daughter, would I have wanted this? Baba Denzi Mbaku Wiliza, Obuta Yonu Nabana Bawala, Kwa Munga Baba Fosinga, Bakube Mwaka Fana Nyi, 
nga chigude kuba ganda babwe obanga chigude kuba nganda zaabwe oba abana babwe bibazala abawala bano we bati okuta masomero nga bafunye mbuto government yenu nayo yali bade teka o measures oba kubibonereze ebikakali ebitu bonereza mu lwacho okunisa omwana obandi okuto Sikuwa kusoboka, kala valenzo wa kangamba kala na wachi asoma, bandi na yeba ba chizili, bandi wude kubanga mbene ba biela bila nti sexy jali, ne ba wanga wana wakulu, ba limukola, ba no ni ba na ba ba mala. My message to the government is even bigger than to the boys and the men. In terms of the legal action, now I've had a chance to briefly go through the guidelines, which are very beautiful. And if we implement them, to see that all schools embrace the policy of letting at least the candidate sit. Second of all, I'm seeing something they're putting a lot of emphasis with the self space. As we talk now with the young people, if you involve them, the problem becomes easier to manage, meaning they'll be able to fight the battle themselves without mm -hmm. us or with us putting very little effort. <laughs> Tio mwana wanga inoru buto kusumira na asoma atia. Nyeru wape ya wedu wa hilo wali. Omuzadda ateo yongero kufuno obugumu. Tio mwana wedu wa nafuno obuzibu wa likusumiru na uru buto. Wali yo haba na mtazi. Kati nkula za mwete omulangi tu kumalu wali lago. Over the years we've been looking around as we went about our activities in various districts. We've been looking around to establish which schools are actually uh, supporting the girls to stay in school once they have gotten pregnant and to finish school or even to come back to school once they have gotten pregnant. We have found at least one school so far. Since COVID came in, we found out that there is a lot of pregnancy going on in Uganda among young people. And as Jim Uganda, learning from this documentary, we call upon the government, one, to monitor and enforce the implementation of these guidelines by all the schools. This will go a long way to help close this gap. I would also like to appeal to the management of the schools, the head teachers, the PTAs, and um, the communities around to support this. We also call upon government to introduce efforts to sensitize, to engage the men and the boys in this discussion, in all our efforts that we are making to reduce this teenage pregnancy and most desirable to stop the teenage pregnancies. <laughs>